Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but your boy will be has landed in King's Cross Station. No, I've not landed, I just got here on a train, mate. I have no clue where Jack and Joe are, so my mission is to go and find them. Hello, man, I am outside King's Cross. Okay, see you soon. Right, look for someone extremely tall and muscular. Look how big and handsome he looks. Ooh, I'm good, very good. Good man. Good to see you man. Right. Good to see you. Right, follow me. Be I'll, I'll take your bag. Oh, thank you sir. Look blocking. at this. And I can get a nice um, juicy arm pump. Juicy I said, I said look for the tall guy with the massive arms. I like that. I like that description. Couldn't see one though. Oh, you did get <laughs> Exclusive content. You good? Sideman famous guy. Yo dudes. What are you saying? Right, we're late for the train. <laughs> That's the weirdest run I've ever seen in my life. What, me? Yeah. That is the most cardio I've done for an extremely long time. Oh, that's Jono. <laughs> no, I'm alright, thanks, mate. Yeah, actually, I was gonna yeah. say no. <laughs> huh? How much would I have to pay you to get off this train right now, jump over, jump into the. Just... That's that question, like. How much would you have to pay me? How much would I have to pay you? If I offered you 20k cash tax free, would you do it? 20, yeah, I'd do 20. 20 bucks. Nah, not 10. I'd do 20. I'd do 20. I'd do 20. Yeah. Okay. You could die. You could die. You could die. How would you die? Oh, more than 20 then. It's a current. I really don't know. I'd have to do a bit of research into it. <laughs> into what the Thames? Yeah, like, is there an underwater current? You know, it, what are the diseases in the Thames? Bro, this light's crazy right now. Why is it crazy? You just look mega beautiful. Oh, thank you. Is that the light in it? Not me. Because <laughs> <laughs> they may be run through the airport, I'm dripping in sweat. I he just wants an excuse to show off a t shirt. No, I just have to change my top. Not sitting on a flight in a sweaty tee. Oh god, I'm gonna cringe for you, I'm mate. <laughs> There's people no looking. No one's on to. No, there are people looking, though. No one. I'm good. Do you reckon you go gym? Nah. Apparently not. KSI said I don't go gym. You look tanned, though. I am tanned. You do look really tanned. I'm also sweaty. It just makes your physique so much better. It does. Just so it looks silly or no? No, it looks good. It looks good. <laughs> You're right, I will. <laughs> the, uh, the leg room is questionable. <laughs> Too tall for the seats, mate. Mm. Right, Get way. me on a Netherlands airline. You mean a Danish airline? Get me on a Danish airline. <laughs> I was weird. I was weird. What do you mean Danish? What? It's Dutch, you twat. Oh. Get me on a Dutch airline. It's Danish is Denmark. Got absolutely humbled there. Nice it is actually beautiful weather. Can you just give the camera some context? Because you just kept saying 10 year old. Oh, um, just found about this Whoa. kid who's 10 years old. He can deadlift 140, squat 100, bench nearly 60. So, so gonna try and meet up with him. So I'm not just, no, meeting random, dodgy. not just meeting a random 10 year old. Okay, just confirm it, bro. <laughs> it's the first thing I smelled as soon as I got out of the taxi. It certainly smells like Amsterdam. You can't <laughs> smell. I can't. Right, well, the plan was to go to Ripley's, believe it or not, to see a statue of the world's tallest man. However, it's closed. Are you guys, did you guys pay to come here? You guys got tickets? Mm -hmm. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, we're not gonna be able to get in, are we? Should we just go in the morning? It's looking pretty closed. So I came to Amsterdam in like 2019, 2020. I do not remember it smelling as strong as it does now. I can't smell it. I can't smell it. I have a bad sense of smell and I feel like I can smell it there, but... Whoa, this is sick! Oi, oi, Joe, we're gonna be getting cosy. Oh, lovely. Very tall for tall people. Mm, not, yeah. gonna, not gonna bang yeah. your head in here. Yeah. Let's meet in ten. To do what? Ten minutes. What was that? <laughs> oh, that's way too close. Okay, let me give you a quick little room tour. And you're greeted with a massive bathroom. It's kind of strange. You can see the bed, but then there's a mirror. Hello. There's a monkey who doesn't want to see anything who's being very respectful and not staring. Then we have some mysterious doors. What is it actually, this one? Oh, that's a shower. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing that's the toilet. Okay. Then the main room. We got some of this, whatever this is. You got a TV. You got the bed with some fancy artwork. Then you got a, a, a stand, a chair, a desk, which is going to be useful for client check ins. And oh, let's have a look at the view. Oh, crazy! Ah. So I actually have my own room because 
I wake up a lot earlier than the guys do, I have work to do, I have to do my cardio, I have to do my check-ins. They work on a different body clock to me. I'm an early riser, early sleeper. They're late risers, late sleepers, you know? <sighs> so I have to go back down. Mood. There's a button by the bed that says mood. What's about to happen? No way! What? Wait, look at this. Read, full, sleep, mood. Wait. What? Have you ever known a hotel room to have sex lighting? Well, only in Amsterdam, boys. And girls, if you're watching. Basically in the red light district. In my bathroom. Let's go find Joe. It's not nice. I've discovered something crazy about these rooms. What? Both of you lay on the bed. Come on, do it, trust me, do it, lay on the bed. Ready? I don't really, I really don't know what he's about to do. Right, let me turn all these off. Bro, we can't see anything now. Yeah, ready? Well, that was bloody... Yeah, now that, bro, I am fucking gassed that you've shown us this. Where's your bathroom? In there. What the fuck? Oh yeah, I will. Wait, I'm trying this again. Wait, Will, show us again, please. <laughs> Show us how lights work. No, brother, wait. <laughs> there's, a button, there's a button that says mood, and it turns all red in my room when you press no, mood. So when it turns on, I was going to play this. <laughs> oh. Right, let's go. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> so disappointed about that. So disappointed. Don't smell this guy water. has nostrils that are inferior. I've not even got a block nose. He I've has inferior nostrils. Nose. I am walking through clouds of this shit. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm not even just saying shit. No, that's sweet. That's, that's, that's the sweet. <laughs> Exaggerating the snips. <laughs> what food are we feeling? I don't I'm know. feeling Italian. Of course you are. <laughs> what are you not feeling Italian? <laughs> I've not seen a single Italian restaurant. You want a margarita pizza? I, do, that's all you fucking I, I need food, but I've not eat, I've eaten nothing today. Well, I can remember you getting a fish and chips. This, this light's hard though. Was it? You know, the number one cause of death in Amsterdam is bikes. Really? Yeah. Makes sense, to be fair. <laughs> like, oh, oh, it's not. I know you're being gullible. <laughs> oh, I'm gullible, am I? <laughs> but we're heading into, <laughs> there you go, Amsterdam's famous red light district. <laughs> you're even wearing red for it. I am. And he just realised. That's for the occasion. Are you excited for the red light district? Jack, you excited? You excited? <laughs> <laughs> So it's a pretty crazy one, right? That is mad. It is nuts. It's like it's, it's like, like a, it's like a proper strip and all. Yeah, it's like the sex strip. Obviously, I can't film it. Okay, now you've walked through what we say. Mad. I was not expecting that though. on a reel. <laughs> Just tits out. Well, you everywhere. weren't expecting. I was expecting tits out. <laughs> Day two in Amsterdam. It is half past nine in the morning. I'm awake, obviously. They're still asleep. I've done my cardio this morning. I've done all my client check-ins. And now I just sort of ah, just have to sit here and wait till they wake up. Oh, I'll show you my outfit for the day. So basically everyone was wearing vests yesterday and I was like, I'm a decent sized guy. I could wear a vest. So obviously it's all Gymshark, code will be. We've got the ribbed vest in white. Hopefully it makes me look a bit more tanned. We've got the Gymshark cargos, um, and then white shoes, so white cream white, backpack. Why do I look ginger? Anyway, this is the outfit for the day. I'll see you when they wake up. Yo, dude. Does that mean you're not awake? Yo. <laughs> That is crazy. That is mad. I thought I was tall. I feel like you know, like, you know, like, you know, the boys have gone very Dutch traditional and got um very uh, cultured. Very cultured and got an English breakfast. Of I've course. gone for a little croissant. And I think the plan after this is head to where? Uterus. <laughs> uterus. How do you say it? Yeah, we're going to uterus, mate. Utrecht. 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 Yeah, he's taller than you. 
Mate, look at the size of these girls, as in yeah. height. Wait, it's actually crazy. So you were saying the average height is 6'1". And the average height... Oh, for the male. Yeah, and the average height in the UK for male is... 5'8". First of all, yes, because I'm taller than that. Secondly... Wait, let me check. Let you me you check. can tell though, like, 5 inches is a lot, guys. It's a lot. 5'7". Is the average? Yeah, in the UK. Is it? Yeah. Get in. Happy days, man. I'm no longer a short king. <laughs> well, you are here. Yeah. <laughs> if that if the difference in average is six inches, that's crazy, and you can you can actually tell. Two meters. Two meters. That's two hundred centimeters. Two hundred centimeters in feet and inches. Oh, guess. Six five. Six six. Oh, six. Six. <laughs> six six. He's a tall dude, bro. It's mad. Everyone is tall. Joe didn't even believe it, and now now he sees it in the flesh. I thought it was going to be a bit of a clickbaity video, like, yeah. like we would have turned up and it wasn't even that good. Yeah, but. it's true. What's bro, name for... you are confusing me, bro. <laughs> I think I never smoked in my life. Are you high now? I'm high. Yeah. I didn't sleep last night. You didn't sleep last night? Uh, that explains a lot. Uh, can, I, uh, can I touch? Uh, can you touch? Squeezing? Harder. Harder. <laughs> I'm Mr. Olympia, I'm the father of Siva. Chris Bumstead, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Chris Bumstead, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm his uh, left uh, knee. You're his left knee? Yes. <laughs> bro's, bro's baked. Alright, bro, right. good one, yeah. Can I see your iPhone 14? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking <laughs> donut. <laughs> Strange guy. <laughs> he told me he was Seabum's dad. And, and he told me that his tricep was his knee. God, this is so awkward. Just explain what you're doing. Getting changed into jeans because these have stains on. <laughs> Down a dodgy alley. Yeah. <laughs> In England, this is somewhat accepted, but I don't know what it is, is like it? here. <laughs> is yeah, it? Is Way better. Way better, both. Right, even the teenagers here are taller than me. What's going on? So, we're sat here getting some shots for Joe, trying to find some tall people. So, me and Jack are sat here, tall people spotting. While Joe. Oh, he's just camping there. While Joe is stood there. White t shirt, white t shirt, white t shirt. I feel like we're part of like an organised crime group where we pick our targets and then he has to like... Yeah, white t-shirts. Trying to spot a target, that girl's quite tall. It's not quite what I was expecting. <laughs> Okay, it's a few hours in the future. Most of the filming is done. We're now dressed up a little bit, ready to go out. Second night, last night, we're all flying back tomorrow. We're gonna go for a few drinks. We're gonna go back and explore the district of the red lights because you just have to if you're here. It'd be weird not to and see where the night takes us. But my flight's quite early, so we won't go too crazy. Jack's chosen this place, so if it's bad, he's gonna be hearing about it. Looks nice. Have you, it's got, it's have got you checked TripAdvisor? No, of course I haven't checked. But it's got pizza, mate, and I know you like your pizza, so. He does like his pizza. I'll have a steak, though. Protein. Just one meal, Joe. Mm, get the gains, mate. We've got pizza, we've got spaghetti bolognese, we've got a side of fries, and I'll probably steal Jack's steak as well. <laughs> I'll give a taste test. What, a margarita pizza? It's actually pepperoni, but I don't have a pepperoni one. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious, it's just very hot. I know, and your friend is like making sure he captures the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. So he can embarrass me. <laughs> Joe's on the hard stuff. How much you have to for? Can you get like such so a really good angle? Yeah, super wide angle, yeah. there you go. <laughs> The man with the most muscle has the most feminine drink. No, I'm not. But it's fine. I don't judge. Hey, I like sipping out my straw. Back it. For the vlog. For the vlog. Back it. For the vlog. Right now. Right now. Right now. Content. Will you can't put it out now? I hate my life sometimes. You neck it, I'll buy you another one. So cold, man. Three, two, one. Good lads, keep it going. Just get it down here. Pretend you can't feel it. 
Let's have there's nothing going on. Yours, sir. Happy days. I'm crying. <sighs> oh, that's cold. Well, Mate. now I'm smashed. Go on then. This makes me happy. Ooh. Ooh. I can't. Yeah, I got a big air bubble in my mouth. Stop pulling out all the excuses. Of <laughs> 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 Wait. Why? So, I don't really like the taste of alcohol. So my uni friends got me on this. It's basically, you get white wine and it's very easy to down. So if you do want to get drunk without having to consequence the taste of alcohol, you just back a bit of wine. And... Go on, then. <laughs> I like hope so. Here you go. Oh my god. All the way. And it's as simple as that. <laughs> you get the wine down here. Um, don't taste it anymore, it's done. And I'm a bit more. It's as simple as that. One question, what are you doing at the red light? This oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here, Joe? Netherlands. Oh, yeah, it's him. I like that. That was funny. That was oh, bro. Netherlands is the tallest country Let's in the world, you know? Oh, yeah, you are the top. Yeah. Every time that I come on a trip with the boys, they make me stay out. Not just you, Sam and James as well. They make me stay out and they make me drink. Yeah, but you're very easy to convince, which means... No, which I'm means not easy to convince. Okay, you're not that easy, but... This is completely against able, my will. You are able to convince. Because you may be too nice, but... Yeah, I'm too nice. I just don't want to say no. I'm a people pleaser, Joe. He, he just wants to see these women. What women? Red There's boxes. women. There's women here. Oh, wait, really? I've not seen a single one. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's better zoomed in. Okay, I have escaped. Joe and Jack are still in the red light district. Amsterdam has them now. I have a much earlier flight than they do, hence why I'm going back early. Yeah, Amsterdam's pretty cool. It's a very weird place. It's also a bit awkward when people know you and they come up to you and say, I know you're from TikTok. Why are you in the red light district? I'm like, I'm filming a video. They're never going to believe you. So anyway, yes, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope it was entertaining. Hope you learned a little bit about Amsterdam. You should probably come and visit. If you're in the UK, it's like less than an hour on the plane. It's pretty cool. It's pretty crazy. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment your favorite bit. And as always, ladies and gents, code will be, and I'll see you in the next one.